So over the past couple of years, as I have been a bit more active uh, online, on social media, and especially on YouTube, um, I tend to see the same kind of comments come through on videos about my guitars specifically. So people will ask what sort of brand the guitar is, what model it is, what gauge of string I use, what um, brand of strings, all those kind of questions. So I thought I would make a video today about my three guitars, main guitars that I have here with me today. Um, I no longer live in Ireland, so a lot of my older guitars are, are back home. But I have three guitars with me here today, which I can talk to you about. Two of them are uh, Maiton guitars, or Maiton, to give it its, its proper pronunciation instead of my bastardized Belfast pronunciation. So two of them are, are Maitons, and one is an Irish guitar made by a company called Avalon. So um, I'll go through all three of those. I'll uh, tell you a bit about them, the woods and sort of bits and pieces the specs and I'll also play the guitar acoustically in front of a microphone here that I have to give you an idea of the sound of each of them because each of them, all, of them, all three of them sound quite different. So the first guitar that I have to show you today is my Maiden Custom Shop. This was hand built by one person, a guy called Andy Allen, who's the head of Maiden's Custom Shop department. It was built in 2019 to my own specifications so I got in touch with them uh, through a guy called Rick Cox, who is the UK distributor for, for Maiden. A great guy who was so helpful and he's such a nice guy as well, so thanks Rick. Um, so as I say, these are, th this was my own specification and I'll just go through uh, the woods and things and I'll tell you a bit about it then. The top is a Torrified Sitka Spruce top. So torrification is a, a process that guitar builders use to kind of speed up the aging process of the wood. So the idea is that, well, number one, it looks darker, which I, I like, um, and it also speeds up the, the kind of, the, the maturation of the sound of the guitar, in theory, anyway. Um, so I specifically wanted a torrified top because it was really about the look, because I love that sort of um, amber, sort of golden look that Sitka Spruce gets as it ages. Because, um, I mean, I've played and I've owned other guitars that have been made with Sitka Spruce, and whenever they're brand new, they're almost like paper white. The first Maiden guitar that I, that I um, bought in like 2007 was one of their EBG 808s, the Artist model, and it was as white as paper. Um, and then I obviously get, over the, over the years, it gets darker and darker and more kind of yellowed. Um, so you can see that this has already kind of happened with, with, with this top. So Sitka Spruce top that's been tarified. The back and sides um, is Indian Rosewood. And it's a tried and tested combination, you know, I didn't want to go uh, sort of too fancy with this because I like the look of Rosewood um, and I also like the sound of it compared to Sitka Spruce, so that's it. The neck is Australian Blackwood, um, which has a lovely kind of sheen, um, if, you, if you look very closely. Uh, the fingerboard is ebony, as is the bridge and as is the veneer here on the, the headstock. Um, and you can see the, the custom shop and the, the Maiden logo there are in what looks maybe abalone or mother of pearl. Uh, these are Grover uh, tuner heads with uh, white pearl buttons. And the purflin uh, or the binding is a, is a form of maple. I can't remember whether it was rock maple or American maple. Some sort of maple anyway. And that, so the whole guitar, fingerboard and um, back and sides are all bound. Uh, in some sort of maple anyway. Um, and it has the, the Maiden sort of proprietary pickup system, uh, the latest one, which is the AP5 Pro. So the AP5 Pro is a, an under-saddle piezo system, like a typical sort of um, acoustic guitar system, really. Um, but you can blend it with a, a, a microphone that's on a gooseneck inside the guitar. And that's Maiden's own system. And I mean, it's, it's part of the reason why I play these guitars. Uh, it's, you know, the pickup is like half the, the battle, for, for a gigging guitar anyway. Uh, I've, I've yet to hear anything that sounds as good as, as a Maiden pickup. And it was, it was Tommy Emanuel really that kind of um, switched me on the, 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 the sound of, of Maiden guitars, especially plugged in as well, because I'd never heard anything that sounded just as acoustic and as kind of authentic as an acoustic guitar until I heard one of those. So. These are great gigging guitars. Um, that's the main draw for me, uh, the Maiden guitars. Uh, they are so good for gigs. You show up to a venue, you plug in, 
and with just the bare minimum of adjusting on the, the side panel and you're good to go and it sounds incredible. It's very powerful, uh, very easy to use and very authentic. It's very kind of transparent. It's, it actually sounds like an acoustic guitar. So that's the, the JT Custom. Uh, recently I put it through a Plex machine, a Plex service. Um, so I brought it to a place in Germany called iMusic Network who were great, they were very friendly and very accommodating and they put this guitar through the Plex system for me and the result was, was great. Um, so it plays beautifully, it uh, had the action set just exactly the way I, I like it and, and I'm delighted with this guitar. It's, it's everything that I ever wanted in a, in a custom shop made and so that's the first one. So I'm just going to play you um, a, a quick example of what the guitar sounds like. So the next guitar that I have here is the big, beautiful Irish Jumbo made by Avalon. Uh, if you haven't heard of Avalon, the company, I'm sure you've heard of Loudon guitars. Uh, and believe it or not, Avalon and Loudon were originally the same company. And uh, there was differences of opinion and George Loudon himself kind of broke away and formed the Loudon Guitar Company. Avalon have been making guitars um, for decades uh, in a place called Newton Ards in County Down in the north of Ireland and I have wanted one of these guitars for years. Um, I've been kind of going uh, up and down to the, the showroom and the factory for, for many years uh, for services and to just kind of drool over these guitars. So in 2020 I managed to get this guitar um, and it's, it's my dream Avalon. It's exactly the, the, the combinations of woods that I've always wanted. So I'll tell you first of all what the specs are. So this is a lovely Sitka spruce top uh, with uh, an abalone rosette. And the back and sides are a wood called Amazaki or Amazak. And it's also known by Oven Call. So I think the Taylor Guitar Company, they call it Oven Call, but it's, it's, the, same, it's the same wood. So I happen to, to think that that's a very underrated wood, um, in, both in terms of looks and the sound as well. Uh, it's, it's very understated as well, which is, which is exactly what I like. It's not, really, it's not a very flashy wood, um, but, I, but I love understated in, in instruments. That's just my sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure what the bending is, but there is a lovely sort of um, uh, wood bending around it as well. The bridge is rosewood. Yeah, the bridge is rosewood. The fingerboard is ebony. And I think the neck is mahogany. I also have a nice wee story about the wood here that they used uh, for the headstock veneer. So on this model, which is the Ardri L2310, um, Ardri is an Irish Gaelic word that means High King. On this particular model, I'm guessing that the headstock veneer is usually the same wood as the back and side, so it, I, mean, I think usually it's Amazaki. But in this one, it isn't. Um, so I had a nice sort of pleasant surprise the day that I went down to pick the guitar up. Um, so in I went and uh, the head of Avalon Guitars, a guy called Steve, drew my attention to the headstock. And it turns out that this is a piece of bog oak, which is over 5,000 years old. I think it's from England. Um, so Avalon had bought a couple of sets of um, this bog oak, I think to make um, another custom uh, guitar for, for somebody else, uh, like bog oak back and sides. But they had an off cut left, a small enough cut uh, that they couldn't do anything else with but they had enough to make uh, a veneer for the headstock. So they, they decided to put that on, on my guitar. And this wasn't a custom order. 
So this was this is basically just an off-the-shelf uh, Avalon model that I sort of put my name to, if you know what I mean. I sort of expressed interest and said I'd like to, to buy this whenever it's built. Um, but I thought that was a lovely touch. So on this guitar there's a piece of wood that's over 5,000 years old. So um, I thought that was such a lovely touch. So that's the, that's the Avalon. Um, I've always wanted a big Irish jumbo and I've always, it's always been, I've always been drawn to Avalon for some reason. Loudon's and McElroy's and McNally's are gorgeous guitars as well. And who knows, maybe someday. <laughs> but it was always, I don't know why, it was always an Avalon that, um, that I had my eye on. I was always drawn to, to Avalon for some reason. And I'm so glad that I have this guitar. Um, it, it has that sort of quintessential Irish, Celtic, big, rich, overtone laden sound that, that I've only ever heard on Irish guitars. Um, so that's that's the reason why I bought this. There's no electronics in it and I don't intend to, pick, to put a pickup in. Um, there's no cutaway because I, I, I didn't want one. Um, so uh, this is the album. I'll play a sample now to, to let you hear what it sounds like acoustically. <laughs> So last but certainly not least, the third and final guitar that I have to show you today is my Maiden TE1 Dreadnought. This is an off-the-shelf Maiden model, and you might be able to tell from the, the model name TE1 that this is a Tommy Emmanuel artist model. Um, this was built in 2010, so this guitar is already 12 years old. Oh, time is flying. Um, I'll tell you a bit about the woods first. So again, this is a Sitka Spruce top. So all three of these guitars have Sitka Spruce tops. This has a honey stain on it. So this isn't the Woods kind of natural uh, color. It, it had a honey colored stain put on. Um, and the back and sides, again, is Indian Rosewood, the same as, the, as my custom shop model. The neck is some sort of maple. Uh, Queensland maple, that's what it is. Queensland maple, so an Australian type of maple. Um, the headstock is uh, rosewood again, I think. Uh, gold Grover tuners. It has a rosewood fingerboard and a rosewood bridge. And if you look closely at the 12th fret there, you'll see the CGP inlay in Mother of Pearl. Uh, and I can tell you now that's certainly not referring to me. That's um, a, a title that Tommy Emanuel was bestowed um, by Ted Atkins. Uh, there's only a few CGPs left in the world. And even though I have one of these, <laughs> these models, I'm certainly not one of them. It has Maiden's own AP5 Pro pickup system. Um, although it actually didn't originally, um, this guitar originally had the AP5 pickup, so the, the original pickup um, before the, the Pro came out. Um, but I bought myself uh, the AP5 Pro system and just replaced it because um, I wanted the addition of the, the microphone inside because the AP5, the older one, didn't have a microphone. It sounded great. The AP5 system, even without the microphone, sounded phenomenal, but um, the microphone does add that that certain quality that um, is kind of lacking when, whenever you're just using an under saddle system. Um, so that's the reason why I, I, I put that system in. Um, it, again, it's a great gigger. Um, it's really good for recording as well. It, it, for some reason, it behaves itself very well in front of a microphone um, with very little uh, adjustment ever needed. So sometimes I would also record specifically with, with this guitar because as I mentioned, it sounds so good and so natural in front of a microphone. So. With that being said, I'll play you a sample now of what this guitar sounds like acoustically. <laughs>
All right, folks, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope that answers some of your questions about these guitars that I play. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. Um, because it's, at this stage, it's kind of hard for me to gauge whether people want to just see performance videos um, or whether they want to see covers or lessons or these kind of you know, discussion videos. Um, either way, please let me know. And in either case, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.